Alright, so this is going to be a follow-up video for my switch testing. So somebody had pointed out that they had noticed that the solder mask had cut through. You can see that right here. I'll take some pictures with the microscope and I'll include those. But you can also see there's no contact in this area here. So you can see as the wiper were to come across this, there's nothing for it to short out against. I'm assuming that when they lay these out that they're considering that, but, you know, maybe not. You, know, you could imagine the outside two wipers in this location could short. Same thing up in this area here. And even in this area up here. So it's hard to say really how that would all play into this. I could see that in some cases this could actually be a bad thing. It's just in this case I don't think it would actually hurt anything. But if I were to continue to run this I could imagine this is actually going to cut the trace in two at some point. You know, I wouldn't read a whole lot into what you're seeing as far as the results of this test. I'm really running this just to get a feel for how to go about running the test. I think to really know for sure, like for example with this Kassun test, I would just have to run that virgin meter I have. So somebody else had asked about running a UT61 next. And of course this is the only one that I actually have. And this is highly modified. You can see this is the one with the adaptive backlight. This also has the shunt, new connectors, you know, and a lot of other modifications to it. So yeah, I'm not going to run this meter. I'd rather buy a brand new one and run it. I think with me having this apart so many times and handling it, I'm not sure that we'd really gain anything useful out of it. But I do have this meter here. This is the original one that 5KY had sent. And of course this is what I used to prototype a lot of the modifications I made to this meter. You can see this meter has been damaged quite a bit. But you can see the switch contacts on this are still in pretty good shape. And I still have the outside cover. You can again see where this is melted. But that's not really going to matter a whole lot. The board is held in place by these clips on the side. So I think what I'm going to do here is just clean up these switch contacts. You can see I have the Unity installed in our test jig. Off to the right is our tablet and this counter represents the number of cycles that I have on the switch. So we'll just let this thing cycle and let's just see how it wears. Okay, so you can see we're at 1,189 cycles so far. So, there's one thing I should mention. This is actually counting the number of cycles to go from off to amps and then back to off. That's one cycle. So you can see, as soon as it hits the off, it'll increment the counter. So, this is actually half as much is what we're actually counting with this other counter. So you can see right now we're at 2,396 cycles. There's just some slight scuff marks right in between these. You can see there's a little bit of darkness, but boy, not much at all. This is looking real good. Same thing with the contacts. These all look real good. Let's see, let's uh, put this thing back together and we'll continue cycling it.
we'll go ahead and stop it at 3,000. Let's go ahead and we'll take it back apart and see what it looks like. Alright, so just feeling the switch. I can't tell that there's any difference. Uh, you can see the center of the circuit board is starting to grind away. You also see there's a little bit of black residue right at the corners here where the switch would bounce up over the lip possibly still all in all it looks pretty good you can see the same kind of wear right here along the plastic but the contacts themselves look to be in pretty good shape Take a look at this under the microscope. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. It looks like the UT61E that 5KY had provided me actually is holding up quite well to this testing. So I'm pretty impressed. Again, I wouldn't consider that a brand new meter from Unity would behave like this. I think we'd just have to actually buy a few of them and run some tests on them. I'm also not sure how well the contacts are actually wearing as far as resistance. It'd be interesting to maybe instrument some of these contacts and measure their resistance while the thing is being cycled. It may be something I'll consider. A lot of times as part of the transient testing, you'll see that damage the switch contacts. So I don't think you can just go back and rerun these cycle tests after all that and then expect to get any kind of meaningful results. And unfortunately, I think if we start by cycling the switch, when it comes time to doing the transient test, that may not be valid as well. So I almost think you'd want to run two different meters or limit the number of cycles that you put on the switch. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. So for now, just consider these an experiment and maybe in the future we'll run some tests for real on working meters. Later.